Hey guys, it's Big Bang 2 pm 96 and I'm remaking all my videos because my webcam wasn't really working out for me, so this is the Dribble Supplies one. And so the first thing that you guys need is a cage, and for a pair of gerbils, I would recommend getting an aquarium. This is a 5 gallon one, but you want a 10 to 15 gallon one. And if you get three, though, I would actually recommend you getting a plastic bin because they're a lot cheaper and lighter, so they're easier to clean when they're this large. And if you do get a plastic one, you want to get a clear one so you can see through it at least. And then you're going to have to replace the center of the lid with wire mesh. Or not with wire mesh, with mesh. It could be wire, it could be hardware mesh, but we had a bunch of extra bug screen at home, so my dad just replaced it with bug screen, and as you can see, you can see through it. And then you have to secure the mesh to the lid. Use And I used hardware glue, these screws, and these planks of wood. So they're all along the sides and they just secure it. So this is what you have to do if you get a plastic bin because just drilling holes through the uh, the lid is not enough for them. The next most important thing is the bedding. I use Carefresh Natural and Aspen mixed together. And if for some reason you don't know what Carefresh looks like, this is it. And it's just like recycled paper. It's kind of ugly brown color. It'll be kind of gross the first time you get it, but after a while, you get, I guess it grows on you. And then this is Aspen, and it's these little things of wood. Um, you have to get Aspen if you're going to get some sort of wooded bedding, because any soft woods are bad for them. And I mix them together because Aspen holds up burrow as well and is cheaper, but Carefresh is more absorbent and softer. And I do not get Carefresh confetti or colors because of the dyes, and I don't get Carefresh ultra because it's been bleached, and I don't trust any of that with my gerbils. You also need a wheel, and you need a wire mesh wheel with it that's at least 8 inches in diameter. Hey, that's my gerbil. Her name is Hoju. Anyways, and so it has to be wire mesh because plastic wheels are usually closed on one side, and only one side is open so they can only get in from one side. And since it's closed, they will oftentimes stuff it with bedding, and they'll run around and the bedding will flip around in the wheel, and um, this, the, op the two open sides allows them to, allows the bedding to flip out, and also they go to the bathroom when they go to the, when they're running on the wheel. I don't really know why they do, they just do. So the plastic wheels kind of trap the waste inside, and they just end up running in it, which is really disgusting. So the little mesh things make it safe for them because parallel bars are dangerous. And then it's open for them and it has to be at least 8 inches in diameter because um, it's bad for their backs if it's any smaller. Next you'll need food. Um, I use Gary Gerbil Food. This is the package that it came in. I ordered off of Amazon.com. You could also buy it off of Pet Food Direct. Um, commercial stores like Petco and PetSmart do not sell them. Um, and there's this little window here which you used to be able to see the food out of after I emptied it. And I do have another bag underneath my bed. Um, that bag right there is it. But this is what it looks like. I think it's a pretty bag. It looks really girly though because it's pink. But, you know, my dribbles are girls. So anyways, so this food is the best for them. And it just looks really healthy and natural, which I really like about it. And it doesn't contain um, this chemical that may cause cancer in rodents, which is what Katie can, uh, has. But honestly, I wouldn't worry too much about it because the chances of it actually causing cancer aren't that bad. So any other commercial food is great. If you do buy commercial food, the best one would be Organic Ecotrition and then Ecotrition and then whatever commercial brand you want. And so this is it. And it does contain a lot of corn and dried fruits and... You, I have to pick those out because they're way too fatty. And then this is my Katie Florida Diet Crunch Food. I have a little bit of it left, and I'm slowly transitioning them into um, the Gary Gerbil Food. And if you'll notice, there are no sunflower seeds, corn, or any other big nuts in here because I had picked them all out, which is what you have to do if you get a commercial brand. And this is what what's in here. And I feed them one a day, so I don't have to buy treats anymore, which is... A bonus I guess and you should also have a food bowl 
well, some people don't use food bowls. You should watch my gerbil food video on more information about that, but I like having a food bowl. It doesn't have to be that large. This is a bit big, and it's not refilled because I can't... T yeah, see, there's some pellets right at the bottom there, and they have to eat their pellets because it's the healthiest part. So until they finish their pellets, they don't get any more food. Kind of how, like, your mom doesn't give you cake until you're done with your entire dinner. You also need a wooden home because plastic is really bad for them if ingested. It could rip their digestive systems or they could choke on it. Huh? She's trying to climb the camera. So wood is great for them. And this is a bit large. You can get a size that's just about this or even smaller. So let's see. I'll lift it up for you guys so you can see why I use it. And they chew on the bottoms. So that's really good. And eventually your wooden homes will get destroyed. Oh, the rest too. The rest three or two are in there. But they will eventually destroy it. But this is really thick wood. And like this is really heavy actually. So this is nice and thick wood. So it takes them a while to go through it. And it acts as their chew toy. Um, I don't buy them chew toys because it gets lost under their bedding. Like I bought them it before. And the next day I wouldn't be able to find it because it'd be buried. So I also have this cardboard box here and it was like just a tissue box and I ripped the top out because there was plastic on the top and that's bad for them. So I ripped the top out and then they also have this tube. I don't really remember where it came from but they've chewed on it and it's good for their teeth because it's really hard like I can't even squish it and like but it's too small for them to fit through but they do like chewing it cardboard uh like paper towel rolls and toilet paper rolls work well but my dribbles go through cardboard pretty fast and i also have this in here it's a cardboard box and they've chewed through it so they don't actually sleep in anymore but they used to and this is another choice if you don't want to get them a hut you could give them this and they will sleep in it. it's kind of like a burrow for them and yeah so i also need you also need a water bottle and it should be eight ounces um, and it should have a water bottle guard because it's made of plastic and they will chew through the plastic and soak their bedding, which will cause mold growth. So, yeah, this metal guard is good for them. And I just like it because it's very feminine because it's like pinkish red and purple. You also need chinchilla bath sand and I buy mine from Super Pet. Dust is bad for them because it could hurt their respiratory systems and it may cause blindness, which, you know, obviously isn't good. And inside, they're just in these packs. And then I have one that's clipped down there that I've been using for a while. Um, that's what it looks like. It's just a pack of sand. And you can put it in this bowl, in just any bowl you want, like a cereal bowl. You don't have to buy any of those fancy, like, bathing things. And just fill it with some sand. And let's see if they'll bathe in it. And they should jump in and, s and like, shake around a bit. See? and they'll pretty much just bathe in it but i bathed them yesterday so they're not you also need some sort of hay for their digestive systems because it's filled with fiber and it kinds of acts as roughage so it pushes their food down so that they don't get like constipation or something like that and this is katie timothy hay and this is what it looks like um i've been using this pack for a while so it's a bit smaller and then i also use orchard grass and they nest with this and they like to nest with this and they like to eat this so i give them hay every other day and i do it every other day because um if i give it to them too much their poop turns green which means that they're having digestive problems so too many greens is really bad for them so i give it to them every other day cleaning spray is really good because it like if you have such a big cage then it's easier to clean just by taking paper towels and spraying them with this and wiping it down rather than filling it with soapy water or bleach or whatever method you use to clean it and this is just really convenient it does have a lemon scent though so you have to leave the cage to air out for a little bit or else it'll be bad for their respiratory systems gerbil food often doesn't contain enough protein so i supplement them with innova senior adult dog food and this isn't what an unopened package looks like. I have to find out where to get more of this because the shelter that I got my dribbles from gave me two packs. But I don't know where to buy it anymore. 
And as a little fun fact, if you own rats, this axe is a really good base diet because it's the healthiest diet for them, rather than like Reggie Rat or whatever rat food you buy from the store. Anyways, back to this. So what I do is I just put it in a container. I used to have dry roasted peanuts. And I just crunch them up, or like crumble them, and I put them in their food so that they get extra protein. And I give them one a day. You don't want to give them too much. Or I don't give them one a day. I give them one piece every three times every week. You don't want to give them too much. And if you don't want to buy dog uh, special dog food, you could give them a piece of like dog regular dog kibble. Or um, you could also give them egg whites mixed in with a tiny bit of yellow or tofu. So that's really good for them. And then you'll also need a spare cage to put them in, like, if you have to go somewhere with them, like the vet or something. And it should always be set up because, if, like, you have to go to the vet, like, on a moment's notice, you just have the cage ready. So inside, I have this wooden hut that used to be on the top of the house in their regular cage, but they were one of them was sleeping apart from the others, and three female gerbils are really likely to declans if they uh, sleep in separate places, much more than males. So I took this out, and this acts as their hut here, and I have this little treat for them. And I have this paper, which you will need in the main cage, and you can use either toilet tissue, uh, regular tissues, or shredded up paper. And it, they use it as nesting material, and you should never buy the commercial fluff that's sold at pet stores. That's really bad for them. And you can, f I filled it with aspen because they're not in here very often, so it doesn't have to be ridiculously absorbent. And it was cheaper, so I just filled it with aspen. There's a bit of orchard grass in here so they can chew on it. And the bedding level is pretty thin because they don't really need to burrow. And I just leave them in here when I clean their cage. And finally, with the bedding, make sure to use tons of bedding, like maybe two or three inches. Um, that's basically the minimum because they like to make tunnels. And if you notice here, there's this little divot inside. Let's see if you can see it better from here. There's this little divot inside here where my gerbils have been burrowing. And I usually pile it up with bedding here and here so that they can burrow in and out. And so yeah, that's basically all you, all the supplies that you'll need. Um, I hope this helped you out and sorry that it was a bit long. Alright, bye guys.